Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 12 in the certified Kubernetes, I mean, Killer Shell certified Kubernetes application developer. So solve this question on this instance. First, let's connect to this host using SSH. And the question says, create a new persistent volume named this one, and it should have a capacity of two GB bytes. Access mode should be read write ones and host path is slash volumes slash data and no storage class uh, name defined. Next, create a new persistent volume claim in namespace earth named this one and uh, it should request to GB byte storage, access mode read write ones and should you know, define a storage class name. The PVC should bound to the PV correctly. Finally, create a new deployment called Project Earthflower in the namespace Earth, which mounts that volume at slash temp slash project data. The parts of the deployment should be of image uh, HTTPD, this version of Alpine. All right, so it's about creating a persistent volume and then the persistent volume claim, claim with uh, the given uh, specifics. Uh, once they're created, we have to check whether the, the persistent volume is bound to the right uh, claim and then create a deployment that uses uh, the persistent volume claim. So let's get started. Uh, so for creating the persistent volume, uh, first let's go back to the Kubernetes official documentation and say persistent so volume. Let's grab the uh, persistent volume manifest from the documentation and make the changes accordingly. Here I'm going to search for kind persist. Persistent volume. So here we have. So there was an explicit mention that we don't need have to uh, specify the storage class name. Uh, let's copy this one. So we need the capacity, access mode. Uh, for now, this bit should be fine. So let's uh, go back to our terminal and then say 12-pve.yaml. Paste it and let's change the name. to this one and also the capacity to to keep GB bytes volume mode we don't need that access mode is to read at once which looks okay and it also says um, we have to use the host path volumes slash data Look at an example of that. So we have to use this one. And the path should be volumes data so these are the three attributes they have um, asked us to specify in the persistent volume let's let us now create this let's create it let's inspect that keep it will get pv so it's created with the two GB bytes, uh, read write once. Created five seconds ago. Looks good. Now uh, let's create the PVC for which we'll create another file 12 pvcyaml uh, 
um, let's search for BBC. Right. Let's copy this back to our terminal. Let's create our persistent volume claim uh, with this name, and it has to be in the the namespace to so, so it has to be in the namespace earth as I ask another question we didn't use any storage clause uh, we don't need this to So we have to find an example that uses these um, access modes. So here we have, we have to use this access mode. Access mode is read write once. And we need this as well. So resources request should be two GB bytes. Let's now create this resource. 12 pvcyaml It's created. Now let's inspect it. So we have this PVC created 12 seconds ago and the status is bound. So it's bound with this PV which we just created because it matches the capacity as well as the access mode. So that looks good so far. The next step is to create a, a deployment. Let's do that now. So kubectl in the namespace earth create a deployment called project earth flower and um, use this um, image let's do dry run as client and Output the YAML to twelve deployment.yaml. Right. So we have a standard deployment uh, file here. Um, the only customization we have done here is uh, the project. Sorry, the deployment name. Uh, we have to add the volume and volume mount to this deployment uh, so that the deployment can use those um, the persistent volume claim that we just created so under the specs section Let's get rid of these lines, which is a managed fields created automatically. So, yeah, first let us do the volumes. Uh, 
volume name let's call them as data persistent volume claim and we'll use the claim name which is this one pvc name so we're done with the volumes now let's do the volume mount oh it should be under the container section so volume is should be on the volume should be on the pod level the volume amount should be on the container level so let's go to the container section and say volume amounts we have to give the same name and so they've asked us to mount that volume in this path so the mount path is going to be this one so we've created volume and volume mounts for this deployment and looks good so far let's save this and now create this resources uh, deployment resource let's create it let's inspect uh, the resource the earth namespace uh, describe there are so many, so many pods that are running already keep cuddle in the earth namespace get pods so this is the one that's created for the deployment just 40 seconds ago uh, instead of get pods let's describe the pod The volume, as you could see, it's using the PVC we've created. And volume mount um, as given in the question. So that the pod is also um, up and running. So that concludes uh, the question number 12. So if you like the video, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.